intercompany accounting can be uh, recorded and posted in any financial journal, such as a general journal or a accounts receivable payment journal or a vendor invoice journal. This video will walk you through setting up intercompany accounting for entry into a, a, a journal for posting of intercompany transactions. So let's go into a general ledger, setup, posting, intercompany accounting. Now I am currently logged into CEU Company, and in this form, the intercompany accounting form, I can enter all the companies that CEU can transact against. So let's say, for example, I have CEE as a company I can transact against. The next step then is to enter in the credit and debit accounts. These would be the due to, due from accounts that would be posted to when posting the intercompany journal and the system automatically is generating the due to, due from entries to balance those journals. The credit account is typically a due to account and the debit account is typically a, deb a due from account. You also need to enter in the journal ID for entry of any intercompany journal, journals that get generated by the system. There's also set up for centralized payments as to which company will get the cash discount and any exchange gains or losses. Uh, centralized payments is covered by other videos. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. We do need to also set up intercompany accounting in the other companies as well. So let me navigate into CEE. And once we're in CEE, we'll go to General Ledger, Setup, Posting, Intercompany Accounting as well. And here you can see I have it set up to transact against CEU. Again, set up the credit and debit accounts. And this will be based on the chart of accounts that CEE is using. And then the journal that any uh, intercompany journal would get automatically generated in during the process. So let's go back to CEU. And I'm going to enter an intercompany journal through the general journal as an example. Let's go ahead and create a new journal. Go into the lines. And you would enter the companies that you're transacting in an intercompany journal on the general tab. So let's go ahead and open up the general tab. The first company is called the company accounts and that will uh, default with the current company that you're logged into. And this is what we sometimes call the primary company. So I'll leave that one as CEU. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in the ledger account that I'm going to transact against and any financial dimensions that are part of this transaction. And on the offset side, or the left, the right hand side um, of the form, there's an offset company account. And here I'm going to change it to be CEE. So this will be a transaction between CEU and CEE. I could have flipped these around as well. Um, let me enter an account here. This is based on the chart of accounts uh, for CEE. And then any, any dimensions that are valid as well. If I go back to the overview tab, I can enter in a description if I have one or enter in my amount. And then I can go ahead and post this. And the info log comes up and it's telling me that it posted two vouchers into the system. So let's go ahead and take a look at the voucher that posted into CEU. So while I still have the, the journal voucher form open, I can click on Inquiries and Voucher. And here it's going to show the account that I entered on the line, as you saw. And the offset now is the due to CEE account, which is the account that was set up as the credit account in intercompany accounting set up for uh, CEU to CEE. If I navigate over to CEE and then pull up the general journal and I'm going to select to show my posted journals and I'll grab the last one that was posted 
and click on the line. And here you will see the entries that were posted to into CEE. So here's the account that I had entered on the line in the journal in CEU. And then this line is showing me the due from account. So this will be my debit. And this is based on the setup in intercompany accounting in the CEE company. So entering intercompany journals is very simple. You just need to have the setup in all companies. Thank you for your time.